There's a Nine Inch Nails cover on this album. So it's their song, oh, yes. Every Every Day is Exactly the Same, which is one of my favorite Nine Inch Nails songs. And the lyrics to that song are incredible. So basically, he starts by saying, you know, I believe I can see the future. And you think like, oh, does this guy have a superpower? Like, what is this? And it turns out that his life is so boring and he leads, he lives the same day every day. Oh. So it's like he he can see the future, but it's because tomorrow is going to be the same as today. Like, it's just incredible songwriting. So I guess, how did you choose that song specifically? And before you answer that, the best show that I've ever seen, and I, I go to concerts, all that, that's like all I do is go to concerts. And I went to from Ottawa to Montreal, I went to see... There was Death from Above 1979 opening for Queens of the Stone Age, which is who I, that's who I went to see, who was, who was opening for Nine Inch Nails. So I went as a Queens of the Stone Age fan. I was familiar with Nine Inch Nails, but I wasn't a fan. And they converted someone that wasn't there to see them. It was by far the best show I have ever seen in my entire life. And during that show, I in that moment... I understood Nine Inch Nails. Like I got it. They they hooked me and I've seen them since then. And the the two times I've seen Nine Inch Nails are the two best shows I've ever seen in my life. So I thought I would put that out there before you answer how you chose that song for this album. That sounds like the greatest show of all time. Like I love Queens of the Stone Age and I, oh my God, what a great show. Oh, I'm so envious. I'm green with, with, with envy right now. Like that's, that's incredible, man. Like, but like yeah. seriously, what a great show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Like, like, and I mean, look, incredible. I don't want, I don't want to make it worse, but that, that show, when I saw them, it was Queens of the Stone Age and Nine Inch Nails in Montreal. A few late years later, I go to the Made in America Festival in Philly and the two headliners, Queens of the Stone Age and Nine Inch Nails. So I saw the same bill twice with like, a, I don't know, seven year gap. So completely different shows. So, oh, my God. So dude, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry uh, if you're envious. No, well, and, you know, it's funny. Um, aside from the, the recorded cover, um, we cover uh, No One Knows live. Like, nice. that's one of my favorite songs to cover um, at our show. But yeah. Um, and, I, and we'll do a little bit of show and tell after I tell you why I, I chose that song. But, um, dude, that song is, it's my favorite Nine Inch Nails song aside from Copy of a. But, like, when I first heard that song, it, it was at a point in my life where I felt like I was doing the same thing. You know, like, I felt like I was on repeat every single day. I felt like my life had no meaning. I felt like I was just spinning my wheels and going nowhere and just continually doing the same things. And I just related so hard to that song because I felt like years of my life was that song on repeat. And um, it, it's just, it's my favorite Nine Inch Nails song. And I, if I'm going to try to attempt to remake a song or record it, like I want to have a personal, deep, real connection to it. And I mean... Dude, I've experienced every array of emotion listening to that song from a teenager to now. And um, it's just such a powerful and incredible song. And um, to get to live inside of his head and recreate all the synths and, and electronic stuff as, as an actual rock band, like, it was so much fun, man. Like that, I had such a good time, like with Matt and Dave and James, you know, re recreating that tune. It was, um, it just seemed like a no brainer. Cause I feel like not everybody would pick that song either. You know, like, I don't want to just pick songs to cover that everyone else and their mom is going to, you know, try to recreate. And I hadn't heard anybody try that one yet. And I was like, okay, let, let's do this one. And, and the end result was honestly fantastic. It was, um, I was, I'm really proud of everybody's work on that song, and uh, I think we did a I think we did a really great job. And for the show and tell portion, real fast, I'm gonna make sure I don't like destroy my guitars. I mean, how um, do you even how do you even find the right guitar case? You got uh, 77 guitar cases, and I, I actually recorded the entire second Riding with Killers record on this guitar. But this is a Gibson. This is a Trent Reznor prototype Gibson that never went to production. 
And what happened is Trent was playing a similar guitar. He was talking with Gibson and um, he basically didn't reach a deal, but Gibson preemptively made like 50 of these hollow bodies when the Memphis factory shut down and they didn't reach the deal, these were given to employees as, as a commemorative gift for all their hard work. And I found a collector that just didn't want this anymore. And as, when I saw it online and it was advertised for a much lower price whenever I saw it, but then I got put in touch with the guy and I was like, and it was like, I had finished my first real big paint job. Um, it was the most money I'd ever made on a paint gig. And I was like, I'm buying myself a guitar. And then I bought this thing. I got it. I played it. It felt like it was made from my hands. And, um, like I said, I made the entire second writing with killers record on this guitar. And like, dude, we were, we were plucking strings on this thing. Like we used this thing almost like a piano like we didn't really use this like a guitar and we had a lot of fun creating weird wacky sounds with this thing so that that's my show and tell is my trent reznor prototype uh gibson hollow body so boom. that's amazing and you you played that guitar on the nine inch nails cover no no no, no. Uh, you got that after i got this one after Got it. I was going to say that'd be, that'd be uh, so meta to play a nine inch nails guitar on a nine inch Dude, nails. Song. Right though. Right. 